We have a little experiment in which we need to use our skills when it comes to working with standard curves and also with dilutions. So we want to determine the concentration of glucose in a preparation of honey. And uh, we first of all make a 0.1% weight per volume solution of the honey to avoid any sticky situations. And from this diluted honey solution, we take uh, a sample 40 microliter and we use that in a one milliliter glucose oxidase assay. And when we do that, that is a spectrophotometrical assay, uh, we measure an absorbance of 0.543. Now, of course, we need to also prepare a sort of a standard curve so that we figure out what this absorbance actually tells us. So we use known glucose concentrations uh, here in milligram per milliliter, and we measure in exactly the same assay um, the uh, corresponding absorbance. And from that, we want to figure out what is actually the uh, what is the concentration of the honey in the sample. So what have we got actually? We, uh, it's always a good idea to sort of do a little diagram of uh, our procedure that we have. So we start off with our pot of honey. So here is our pot of honey. Uh, and from this uh, pot of honey, we, let's do it like that, uh, we prepare a uh, 0.1% 0.1 weight per volume solution. And we need to figure out how we can do that. Well, 0.1%, well, let's do the, the diagram first. So here we've got our solution. That is then our 0.1% diluted honey solution diluted honey solution. And from this diluted honey solution, we take 40 microliters, take 40 microliters and add that to our assay. We can probably put that into a cuvette. And uh, this gives us a total volume of one milliliter when we add these 40 microliters to this cuvette. And uh, then we do our spectrophotometrical assay and we get an absorbance. Here the absorbance would be 0 0.543. So that is basically the scheme. And we now have to figure out how we prepare this 0.1% uh, weight per volume solution in the first place. So 0.1% uh, weight per volume. This means we have basically 0.1 gram of honey in a total of 100 milliliter of water or whatever we dilute the honey. I recommend diluting the honey in warm milk because that really tastes uh, very nice. So this is basically the scheme that we are going to use. And now we need to look at uh, how we do our absorbances and how we can create a standard curve. And for that, uh, we just simply head over to Excel and uh, try to do uh, the calculation, the assay in Excel. So uh, 